The best PC controllers can completely change the experiences of those who just don't get on with a mouse and keyboard for certain genres or for all their play. However, there's more to see here than simply a set of thumbsticks and a D-pad. With a modular design, PC controllers can be customized with remappable buttons, extra paddles, and even whole components that can be swapped out. In the current market, there's something for everyone, and we've rounded up 5 best PC gaming controllers across the full price range. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to show us your support, and comment for any suggestions. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's start with our best budget. On number 5, we have Power A Enhanced Wired Controller for Xbox Series. This second consideration heavily influences Power A's next generation Xbox One Wired Controller, the Enhanced Wired Controller for Xbox Series XS. In the days when wireless controllers are the norm, there are two reasons to get a wired controller. Most manufacturers claim that it will minimize input lag and lost inputs while ensuring a stable connection. Nevertheless, there's another more obvious reason. It's cheaper. At $29.99, it's a little over half the price of a standard Xbox Series X controller. It's easier to accept a hardline tether as a concession that keeps money in your wallet even if you prefer convenience over performance. There is a downside to this pad in that it uses a micro USB cable, not a USB-C connector that is used by the official series controllers. Despite the minor cable niggle, this controller has remappable back buttons, which are the big selling points of more expensive controllers. In games like Fortnite and COD, where the ability to jump with a back button while aiming with the right stick means the difference between winning and losing a gunfight, back buttons have a huge advantage. Number 4. For our best value for money, we bring you Turtle Beach Recon Controller Wired Gaming Controller. There are a few drawbacks to this, like everything else. Some features take some time to learn to use, and it doesn't have a wireless connection. However, given the features and performance it brings to the table, it's an excellent rival to Xbox. In addition to audio enhancement, button remapping and cooling grips, it's just as good as the Xbox wireless controller for the same price. Recon's top panel of buttons allow you to make a variety of changes to your game, chat audio and microphone when you plug headphones into its 3.5mm headphone jack. In addition to focusing more on bass, there are four equalizer presets. You can choose between four equalizer presets. If your headphones have a built-in microphone, you can adjust the mic monitoring so that you can let more of your voice come through or you can mute it entirely. The handles and triggers have dual rumble motors to enhance immersion for ultra-realistic next-gen gameplay. Micro-cooling channels and a comfortable shape keep your hands cool and dry. While the Recon has headset-like features, you'll need practice to master the inelegant button layout. Although everything works as intended, you'll need to keep your instructions on hand. On number 3, we bring you our best minimalist designs, PlayStation DualSense Wireless Controller. A pleasingly sturdier beast than its predecessor, the DualSense outshines the PS4's DualShock 4 in every conceivable way, bringing PlayStation owners a controller that rivals Xbox's offerings. If we were to discuss the PlayStation 5 controller without mentioning its killer app, the haptic feedback, then we would be remiss. You'll get the DualSense controller with every PlayStation 5 console as standard, and it's the best controller Sony has ever made. The controller's back is also very finely textured to help keep it secure, even when the palms get a little sweaty from intense gaming sessions. If you look very closely, you may notice that the texture is made up of thousands of tiny, iconic PlayStation symbols seen on the face buttons. This is some serious fan service. It's also a lot like DualShock 4, but it has some noticeable aesthetic changes that echo the PlayStation 5. Like the last generation, it's got aligned analog sticks, similar position, face buttons, shoulder trigger buttons, a directional pad, and a touch-sensitive surface above it. There are responsive buttons and a directional pad that doesn't feel mushy on this gamepad, which is what you'd expect from a modern gamepad. In addition, the analog sticks provide a precise control over characters and cameras, and the design is comfortable and intuitive. Due to its heavier design, the DualSense appears to be able to withstand modest drops and everyday wear and tear, as well as feeling durable and dense. Now for runner-up on number 2, we have Microsoft Xbox Wireless Controller. 
Instead of being a brand new gamepad, the Xbox Wireless Controller is an upgraded version of the controller that ships with the Xbox One. After inserting the battery into the controller, you need to turn it on by pressing the Xbox button on the top middle of the controller. After that, press the small button right beside the Type-C port for 3 seconds. In the list of available devices on your PC or smartphone, you'll see Xbox Wireless Controller 4416. Choose it and you're good to go! Microsoft claims that the battery lasts for around 40 hours. The wireless adapter features a 66% smaller design, wireless stereo sound support, and the ability to connect up to 8 controllers simultaneously. Time has arisen, ladies and gentlemen. Best overall for the top 5 gaming controllers, we have Razer Wolverine Tournament Edition. A customizable controller for competitive play for Xbox One and PC, the Razer Wolverine Tournament Edition comes with four remappable multi-function buttons. With Razer Synapse for Xbox, Razer Chroma Lighting allows you to further personalize your controller and enjoy a more immersive gaming experience. The Razer Wolverine TE is connected to the Xbox using the USB to micro USB cable. Press the Xbox button and your Razer TE is ready to use. When connecting your Razer Wolverine TE to your PC, use the USB to micro USB cable and wait until the Xbox One controller drivers are automatically installed. If not, manually update the drivers through your device manager. Now you'll have ultimate control at your fingertips with Razer Synapse for Xbox and with its remapping function, you can master next level techniques with the Razer Wolverine TE. You can create your own palette from 16.8 million colors using Razer Chroma TM effects such as breathing, immersive, reactive, spectrum cycling, static and wave. You can adjust sensitivity levels via Synapse for Xbox by pressing the focus or agile button while moving the thumbstick. The moment you take the Wolverine out of the box, its sleek stealth black finish captures your attention. Grips give it a firm feel. It won't slip out of sweaty hands anytime soon. It feels comfortable in hand and looks like something the military would make for drone pilots. This advantage makes a huge difference in games where a millisecond is all that stands between you and a chicken dinner when you're using wired controllers because they have zero latency. So that's it for today's video, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for future updates. In the meantime, take good care of yourself.